Hey everyone! If you're an MX Linux fan or just curious about Linux distributions, we've got some exciting news. MX Linux 23.5 is here. This is the latest update to the MX23 series and it's packed with fixes, updates and new features to make your experience even better. So, let's break it down. Before we talk about the updates, let's quickly cover what MX Linux is. It's one of the most popular Linux distributions out there, and for good reason. MX Linux is known for being lightweight, user-friendly and stable. It's great for beginners and advanced users alike, and it runs smoothly on older hardware. If you're tired of Windows or Mac OS, MX Linux is a fantastic alternative. If you're already running MX23, you don't have to reinstall the entire system. You can simply update your existing setup using the built-in update manager. This makes it super easy to stay current without any hassle. All the updates, bug fixes and new features are just a few clicks away. Now, let's talk about what's new in MX Linux 23.5. MX Linux is built on Debian, one of the most stable and trusted Linux distributions. This update uses Debian 12.9 Bookworm as its base. This means all the stability and reliability of Debian comes baked into MX Linux 23.5. Think of it as upgrading the foundation of your house to make everything more solid. One of the most exciting additions is the release of XFCE 4.20. XFCE is the desktop environment most commonly used in MX Linux. It's lightweight, fast and easy to use, making it perfect for both new and experienced users. Here are some of the improvements you'll notice with XFCE 4.20. A sleeker and more modern look. Better performance for multitasking. New features that make customizing your desktop even easier. If you've been using XFCE for a while, you'll love these updates. And if you're new to MX Linux, it will feel like a breeze to navigate. The MX Package Installer is your one-stop shop for installing software on MX Linux. In this update, it's even better. Here is what's new. A cleaner, more user-friendly interface. Clearer version detailed for software from third-party repositories. These are like app stores for Linux. Now you can see what an app looks like before you install it, thanks to images pulled from Debian screenshots. This makes finding and installing the right software easier than ever. If you've ever used MX Linux in live mode, this means running it directly from a USB stick without installing, you'll notice some changes. You'll get extra warnings if you try to enable persistence on a USB stick that can handle it. Persistence lets you save your changes, so these warnings will help avoid issues. The default system configuration, fstep file, has been tweaked for better performance and compatibility. MX Linux installer is already one of the easiest to use, but they've made it even better. New fallback modes have been added, which are like backup plans if something goes wrong during installation. These updates make the installation process smoother, especially for users with less common hardware setups. The kernel is the core of the operating system. It's what allows your hardware and software to talk to each other. MX Linux 23.5 includes updated kernels to improve compatibility and performance. Standard XFCE, KDE and Fluxbox versions now use the 6.1 kernel. The AHS short for Advanced Hardware Support, has been upgraded to the 6.12.8 Liquorix kernel, which is great for users with newer or more demanding hardware. Plus, it comes with auto-updates enabled, so you're always up to date. For those of you using Raspberry Pi devices, the MX Raspberry Pi Respin has also been updated. It now includes the latest packages from both the MX and Raspberry Pi OS repositories. This means better performance and more up-to-date features for your tiny computer. Here are a few more things you'll notice in MX Linux 23.5. Many annoying little issues have been resolved, so everything runs more smoothly. The system now supports even more languages, making it accessible to users around the world. The MX test repository has been expanded with more apps for you to try. If you're wondering whether it's worth updating, here are a few reasons. You'll get the latest features and improvements like XFCE 4.20 and the updated package installer. Your system will be more stable and secure thanks to the bug fixes and kernel updates. 
If you're using newer hardware, the updated kernel and AHS will ensure everything works as it should. And remember, if you're already on MX23, updating is as simple as running the system updater. No need to reinstall anything. Updating is super easy. Here is how you do it. Open the MX updater from your taskbar or application menu. Click the check for updates button. Review the list of available updates and click apply to install them. Sit back and let MX Linux do its thing. Once it's done, you'll be running the latest and greatest version of MX Linux. MX Linux 23.5 is a solid update that brings plenty of useful improvements without making things complicated. Whether you're a seasoned Linux user or just starting out, you'll appreciate the care and attention to details that's gone into this release. Have you tried MX Linux 23.5 yet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're new to MX Linux, this is the perfect time to give it a try. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.